Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. So we are going to head back to that zombie body doctor nurse guy. Who, he was probably just a nurse and not a doctor. He just gave himself a promotion after the outbreak. Because he's a, I don't know if he ever called himself doctor. He was kind of a dick, though. He was the dickest of doctors. It was the dickest of times. It was the bestest of times. It was the bestest of times. It was the dickest of times. Okay, well, we will have the combination to his locker. Just as soon as we get back from finding out what Molly's doing. Maybe she's mutilating the corpse. That would be horrible. I hope Molly's not a psycho killer. Kiss Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I, I thought it was like, cut to the other side, but no, it didn't cut to. I have to walk up there again into an alley full of zombies and murder them. Murder them zombies. Also, how many bullets do you have left? Uh, no? Hello, zombie. That was a well-placed TV. Thank you, TV of God, I guess. God's TV that he dropped on your head. Oh, of course you're crawling. Alright, let's go search the bastard. Hey, buddy. You about to get a boot to the head. Curb stomp him. He's already there. There you go. You a badass, Lee! badass Lee. Alright, let's check him out. Let's fondle his butt. Okay, well we fondled his butt and found a tape. This might be just what we need. Now what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. That is for his locker, my dear Watson. Shit. Go. Yep. Better run. Okay. Now we are looking for the locker. This the locker. Hello, the locker. Logan. This must have been his locker. Okay, how about that combination? Okay. Or just well, it's just open now. Safe combination has gotta be on one of these. Okay, we will I don't know which one we should watch first. Okay, I guess we'll watch two and then three. They're numbered, so. Watch two and then three. I assume we that's the order. Two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Okay, it's not giving me an option. So it wants me to do it in order, I guess. I'm out of drink, or else I drink. Decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy, or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Not necessarily. It's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. What? I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Can I watch the other tape? Please. What's wrong? Esther, are you all right? What's wrong? Is it's she nothing. she's pregnant? That was just She's watch. She's pregnant. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. No, all she's right. pregnant. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. <laughs> We're in business. Can I watch? Antibiotics, 
Morphine? We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Okay, Let's no, go. you guys... I found a third tape in the locker outside. Yeah. Maybe there's something else on there. Yeah. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. Okay, yeah, you guys Head leave. I'm gonna watch this. Room. Don't take too long, Lee. Okay. No, I'm gonna watch this. You guys go do what you gotta do. Let's watch it. Watch it. Pick up the tape. Oh, you have the tape. What the hell am I doing then? What the hell? Okay, I... I don't, know, I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's go watch the tape. No tape inside. Really, Lee? Really? I guess it's probably the idiot controlling you, but still. Yeah. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. Yep. 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 Of course. Phones probably haven't worked in months. I mean, okay, I uh, prostitution. Okay, fine, whatever. But uh, it was still messed up. Must have been from when that woman stabbed the doctor. Nothing in here, I guess. already cleaned out I have to click on it twice what okay what the hell is it oh it's a sonogram okay yeah that Burn sucks Krista already took everything we need. yeah 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 I did that sorry 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 guys sorry 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 okay um take the camera because if it still works no, don't! Why wouldn't they take the camera? Like, that seems important, or that it could be used for something important, or anything, like, keep themselves sane. Audio die. Oh, yeah, also, where's your camera? Like, from, uh, episode, or, yeah, uh, episode one? Where's that camera? Because he was supposed to have, like, a photo journal or something, right? this a copy machine not that it matters with no power around here okay well i guess that's why he doesn't have the camera anymore because they couldn't find power but i'd still hold on to it if i were you okay is there nothing else to do in here there's three tapes yes okay leave i guess because that that was weird it was like there's some secret code or sequence that i need to put the tapes in or that, or shit's about to literally hit the fan. Probably not literally, because there is no fan, nor is there shit that I'm aware of. But, in a figurative manner of way. Okay. Alright, so... Hopefully Molly's coming back. Hey, Molly! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Ninja Molly! Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Tell her I'll you... Take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? I'm just kidding. Okay, I was about to murder you. So, so I I hope it was funny. Cause I if if you would have gotten shot in the face for that, it would have been pretty funny. Ha ha ha! I almost murdered a little girl, or teenager, or I don't know, twenty year old. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you from Crawford. What? Who told you that? You did. You on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? Security I tape? Said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? 
I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Yeah. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Yeah. This is all I have left of her. Okay, yeah. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? <sighs> I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Lee! Why did you have to add that? That was weird. I get it. She's pretty. <laughs> no, she's my sister who died horribly. You dick. Oh, Jesus! Chip. Bear. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? Again? No, with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. Oh my god, the Ben. The end of the hallway back there. Oh my god, Ben. Shit. Oh my god, Ben. Father ever! What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Ben, you're gonna die. Okay, that's that's it. Clem's gonna kill you. Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Clem, take this fucker out. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Clem, shoot this kid. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... No, 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 Kenny. Kenny, man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Yeah. Focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife? The child? You got a boat fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass later, but right now we gotta go! Yeah. This group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure! Take a vote! This is America! Fuck it! But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Yep. Well, I vote we leave him. Yep. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Yep. Wait, don't I get a vote? Clem? Of course, of course you, do. you do. And it's nice. 
He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. God damn it, Clem. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Please. God damn it! God damn it, Clem! I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. And that means cutting you loose. Sorry, Clem! He's a nightmare. The, rest of us. the man. We get a <laughs> Leave him with these people! You don't get to say anymore. Vernon, come on. So much for the armory. What's left of it? Are there guns? It's a goddamn armory. That's it. What? You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Just fucking great. Come on, there's gotta be a way out down here. Hey Ben, it looks like you're holding the gas. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Alright, Kenny. You're the only one who's actually had my back, even though in the beginning you didn't. And Ben has been really stupid. Boop! I am a crack shot, so... Boop! 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 Get your damn leg out! Okay, we'll shoot some zombies. Boop! Let's kill all the zombies. Boop. Okay, now get your leg out. Get your leg out. Okay, let's... Oh, no, get your leg out some more. Alright, now let's kill some more zombies. Okay, let's get your leg out some more. Okay, back to... What the hell? Okay, no, they're still coming up the stairs. Awesome! Ben has never saved my life like that, so... Damn right! Murder knife into everyone! Murder... You're such a badass, Lee! Holy crap! Yay, my baby! All right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! What? What? Come on, let's go! <laughs> Bye, Ben! <laughs> Hold on, Ben! I've got you! <laughs> no, I'm gonna save Ben. He can live with the other people. Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! This is gonna be a choice? You got my girlfriend killed? And now I'm gonna let you die. Okay, whatever, man. Pull him up. Damn right. You lift like a pro. Because I said so, damn it. You're gonna live with these other people and repent for your sins. They're one short now.
Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Well, Ben's coming with us, I guess. Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. He's about to turn. Okay, well, Ben's dead, so... Back already? Or Ben's going with the other people. Probably. We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. I mean, grr, I need flesh and brains hey, and stuff. You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Uh, no, he's hey, staying what here. What happened out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. I want to go tell okay, Kenny what my plan with a little is. luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Are you gonna take Ben? You should take Ben. I'm sorry for about Bree. Sorry about Bree. About what happened to Bree? Please save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? No, just hold what? on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here, and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not going to make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is going to solve anything. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, shoot this old man. Let's prove him right. why I'm going to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden. No. A lot of us have had kids of our own. No. Nope. Now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear for It's them. not gonna happen. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. Walk that's away. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? Nope. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away. Which you ought to do right now. Yep. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not, are you? How the hell do you know? That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me She and is my little girl. It's going to wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. Or what? You talk a lot of shit, old man. Lee, you should just kick this guy's ass. Like, honestly? I don't know what your problem is. You... No one ever has to see you again. That simple as that. You just disappear. Oh, zombie got him. The end. Better start being nice to your people. Dick. What the hell did I do? Hey. Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. No. It's been fun. You're coming with us because you're amazing. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. Uh I've always done better on my own, anyhow. I shall let Ben die! I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Is it possible for Molly to come with you? And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck.
I regret letting Ben live. Because old man treated me like crap anyway. I should have just... Nope, oh, sorry, Ben, you're gone. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's oh my god. Phone. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Oh my god. He's just feeling down right now. Truth is, he brought this on himself. What that do you mean? Look, Ben's a good kid. He means well. He keeps trying to help. But every time he does, he winds up putting the rest of us in even more of a jam. What happened to Kaja and Duck feels like he was responsible for that. And the fact is, he's right. He was. But you still saved him. Yeah, I still saved him. Because I... Before we leave tomorrow... Will we have time to look for my parents? <sighs> I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Man, what the hell, game? There's no middle ground. Everyone just hates you. Yeah, fuck Lee. Lee's a terrible person. He's bad Lee. Also, like, I don't know that doctor. I don't. He could have been a pedophile for all I know. Like, how the hell am I supposed to know? I. <sighs> Clementine? Oh my god, he didn't run away, Clementine. Clementine? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Did they leave you? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, God. Where was everyone else? Oh, my God, Clem. Oh, I guess I should have looked at the box for some reason. It's just an old box. safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. Well, well I'm in a Rambo. She just wandered off on her own? No. no. I'm about to Rambo. Then who the hell took her? Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? 
Clementine's my responsibility. Can't you got nothing you left to live for, right? Things. This is something I have to do alone. Rambo! We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. Rampage! Damn right. I can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Are you sure about this? Could be dangerous. As opposed to what? Day-to-day -day life these days? We're sure, Lee. Just lead the way. All right, Ben, you're cannon fodder. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. I shot your son for you. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell, in the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. All right, I'm in. What about you, Ben? You now, voted me out. Wait a minute. I'm not going if this little shitbird is, too. Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. Fucks up everything he touches. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? Things have changed. I don't know. Whatever you think is best. Clementine's one of the few good things left in this world. She stood up for you and Crawford when Kenny wanted you gone. Don't you think you owe it to her to stand up for her now? You're right. I owe her. I want to do this for Clem, but I want to do it for Kenny, too. I gotta make it right with him. Somehow, I gotta make it right. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? This is feeling like the end of an episode. Is it? Is it? Is... Okay, I guess it's not. Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Hello, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully.
I said you're fucking dead if, if that wasn't uh, obvious. So yeah, it, it did feel like the end of an episode. It was the end of an episode. Okay, I will uh, go through this quickly. The boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? Yes. Uh, and 74% of players did. Uh, Hippocratic... Hi Hi Hippocratic Oath. Did you lie to threaten Vernon? You and 33% of the threatened or lied to him. I what? Okay, well, I told him she was my daughter, but she sort of is now, so deal with it. What qualifies as a parent? I don't think that this game can tell me that it's not my daughter. I don't think some wannabe doctor can tell me it's not my daughter. If her parents are dead and I'm looking out for her and she means the world to me, I'm her goddamn father. Thank you very much. Uh, Home Alone, did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? We did, because we weren't about to leave her there to be, I don't know, stolen like that. Uh, for whom the bell tolls, did you let Ben fall to his death? We did not, and thankfully we didn't, because now we have one more guy to help. Did you reveal your bite? I did show my bite, so did 80% of the players, because being honest about that, whatever. Like, you're dead anyway, they're gonna find out anyway. It happens. Anyway, uh, so that's the end of that. Okay, who came with you? Who could come with me? Okay, there was no Molly. There was no Molly. Okay, so I had... I had everyone! Yay, me! Yay, me! Uh, apparently, I could have gone alone, I guess, but everyone insisted on coming with me, so... Yay! Okay, good. I guess I, guess I did a good job. Alright, so that was the end of episode four. Four? I think it was episode four. I think we have one more to go, because they wouldn't leave a game like that before season two. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. Comment on what you think of the game so far. I think it was epic and crazy. I hate that there was no middle ground. That kind of sucked. Go check out the other videos I've done. Uh, yeah, and I will see you soon. No, 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 no,